My name is Michael Donaldson. My overwhelming specialty was undercover operations and pharmaceutical drug investigation. This is when people divert pharmaceutical drugs, steal with prescriptions, or they change a number of prescriptions, or they take somebody else's prescription. So that involved investigating and arresting doctors, nurses, dentists, and pharmacy technicians. Several types of investigations from homicides to theft. Um, as a matter of fact, I just went to Las Vegas for a week-long training on homicide investigations. So they had updated information on DNA and DNA genealogy, different ways to locate bodies, and they had a great volume of information on how to use cell phone and GPS tracking technology to either exonerate or to implicate a suspect even better than normal. To exonerate, for example, if you said my client did it and I can show definitively by that GPS and by excluding their phone and other people's phones that they were with, that they were at another location during the time that you said they were there, we can clear them by their GPS just as easily as you can convict them with the GPS based on their cell phone activity. Every year, you have to have 12 hours of ongoing, continuing legal education, but it's not necessarily giving you any expertise in any particular field. The additional schools give you the additional tutelage, and that tutelage helps you to bolster your expertise. So you have the years of service, and you stay current in that particular field. I was a post-certified instructor in undercover operations, having trained more than 5,000 law enforcement persons and more than 3,000 civilians in undercover operations. I'm still an expert in undercover operations. And one of the best alibi witnesses is a video camera of the defendant at work. Extremely difficult to explain that this person was supposed to be killing somebody or robbing a liquor store when they're at work, punched in on the clock. The private investigators get to go out and do things to help their clients that actually have legitimate alibis and actually are not guilty of the domestic or are not guilty of custodial interference. And we do that by being able to provide additional surveillance as well as expert testimony, as well as eyewitness or photographic digital testimony. And sometimes if it's a game or something to that effect, we'll put a drone up and show you at the park drinking beer from a five gallon bucket, even though you said you don't drink. We can follow you down the street. We can do a lot of things to help the probable cause in any type of case in investigation. A crazy story from a PI perspective. You probably shouldn't try and sell your girlfriend's stolen car. With Am I being recorded? I'm not gonna say that. He's just <laughs> <laughs> interesting story would be communication. I found myself investigating another investigator because of a lack of communication and everything that was Im implied in the allegation in terms of them selling drugs and everything else was absolutely true, but they were undercover. So they weren't actually committing a crime. They were pretending to be a drug dealer to prove that somebody else was committing a crime but somebody thought that they were selling dope, so they called us and said, hey, can you follow this dude? I think he's selling dope, and he was. So we turned in paperwork that said he was selling dope, but he wasn't selling real dope. It was fake dope to make a case. So get your facts straight before you overreact. Just because you think something's happening doesn't always mean it's happening. It's a good reason to get a private investigator if you think somebody, your husband's cheating on you, but you should still have some facts. It shouldn't just be, well, he went to sleep early tonight. That's not a legitimate reason. And if you do call us, please have some information about their habits and their lifestyle patterns. Because if you say you think he's cheating, but that's all you give me, then it's gonna be a very expensive operation trying to figure out who he's cheating with when we don't have a place to start. So get your facts together, give us a call, and we'll make sure we take care of you.